Let me tell you a story about a little place called Nutville. Life was good for the squirrels of Nutville, but there was one squirrel who believed he could make life even better, and that was Kevin. Kevin had the bold idea to start a little business, a business to create wealth for the community. And it wasn't long before Kevin's success was helping others, so that it became cherished by all of Nutville. Kevin's nutcat business was growing fast. It was time to expand. First, he took a trip to Spruce Spring, where he met Bruce. Bruce offered to sell him all the nuts he would need and at a much cheaper price. Next, Kevin traveled to Conkerton, where land and workers cost peanuts. He found a factory there to make his nutcaps for him. Everything seemed to be going great, but he'd had to make some tough decisions, and there were a few unintended consequences. Tonight on Squirrel News, Spruce Spring Nut Farms cause drought in Lush Valley, and we expose shocking conditions at a nutcap factory in Conkerton. Pesticides cause sickness? Nutcaps to blame? What are you gonna do about all this, sir? I'm going to fix things. Kevin tried to convince his suppliers not to use up all of the water or exploit their workers, but they had their profits to consider. And now other companies that didn't care about their workers or the environment were taking Kevin's customers. How could he fix things without harming his business? He would go and see the League of Extraordinary Animals. They listened carefully and after consulting with the animal kingdom, they put in place a process whereby all the business partners were made more responsible for workers and the environment. And the communities could ask for remedies when something went wrong. Now every business would do the right thing without being put at a disadvantage. And animals everywhere could get help if they needed it. And Kevin was happy and all the animals were happy too. Or at least, that's what we could have done. Tell the EU which ending you prefer.